Herbert and Harry by Pamela Allen Once upon a time, there were two brothers called Herbert and Harry who lived together in the same house Duck together in the same garden and fish together from the same boat. One day, while they were out fishing, they hauled up a great treasure. This treasure is mine! shouted Herbert. I pulled it up! No! said Harry. I chose this place to cast our net. So Herbert pushed Harry, and Harry fell. Splash! Harry was a strong swimmer and managed to get safely home. While Herbert rode the treasure as fast as he could, for as long as he could, until he reached the lonely stretch of coast. From there, he started to walk. He wanted to get as far away from Harry as possible. At last, Herbert lay down to sleep. But even though it was very dark and he was very tired, he could not sleep. What if Harry came and stole the treasure? So the next day, Herbert hid the treasure among the roots of an old tree. But that night, when it got dark, he still could not sleep. What if someone had seen him put it there? He decided to take the treasure high into the hills where no one would find it. He walked many days and many nights. The land got emptier and emptier, and the treasure got heavier and heavier. At last, he reached the highest mountain in the land, and there he hid the treasure under some rocks. But still, he could not sleep. What if someone had followed him and stole the treasure while he slept? He decided the only way to keep the treasure safe was to put it in a place which was so strong no one could get in. He began to chip the rock. Chip, 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 went Herbert. Many years passed. At last, he made a deep dark tunnel into the middle of the tallest mountain in the land. He pushed the treasure right to the end of the tunnel, then blocked the entrance with a huge boulder. But still, he could not sleep. What if someone forced him to tell where the treasure was? Then, they could steal it. He decided he must protect himself. To protect himself, Herbert needed guns. Lots of guns. But guns were not enough. Herbert needed a fort. Many more years passed. Today, Herbert and Harry are very old men. Herbert still guards the treasure in his fort on top of the highest mountain in the land. But still, he cannot sleep. While Harry, who had no treasure, has always been able to sleep soundly. The end. Hi, everybody. If you like this video, subscribe here for more. Bye.